Good evening, I'm Giuseppe Basile and I'm the analyst and trading mentor you can find at the website www.fipstalker.com. I also post regularly on Twitter, on Twitter using that Fipstalker nickname. Good evening, today is uh, April the 8th, 2014 and it's uh, 20 past 10 p.m. and uh, this video is valid for tomorrow April the 9th and in, in, in it I'm going to review for you three uh, pairs the um, Japanese uh, pairs the US dollar versus Japanese yen the euro versus Japanese yen and the pound versus Japanese yen so let's start from the US the US dollar uh, the, um, the US dollar versus the Japanese yen so uh, what you see on the screen is the daily chart and um, and uh, those who uh, follow me uh, and subscribe my newsletter as well know that uh, in this market I've been uh, identified with a, with, a, with a few weeks in advance this trace. The reason why it's traded is it's traced, traced by this level 97.62 It's because it's a next measure move in a sequence of measure of, of, uh, of uh, measure move higher here after we got support at 94. So you can review my weekly a uh, newsletter. Um, I distribute the newsletter for free and uh, <clears throat> you can review uh, my analysis there. Um, what happened recently we saw uh, this area 101.52 act as a support uh, level clearly here uh, for a number of times one two three four times and now it's being retested for the fifth time now um, recently we also saw a busted measure move here which was able to bring price into uh, the uh, first and second target um, as you can see here uh, I always trace from uh, trace from highs to lows, and uh, we had initially participation, but then this uh, level here, which I always watch, one hundred one seventy five seventy six, in this trace was was um, was violated on the downside, and I call this a passed setup. Price anyway um, went uh, higher, and it uh, went to. Um, uh, touch uh, these two hypothetical uh, target levels here 103.01 uh, and 103.57 and after I saw this um, I, uh, I decided to test the continuation of this sequence and I tested this uh, uh, measured move here but we saw price uh, moving below 103.22 then uh, the next uh, potential level of support always comes at the um, all the way halfway back from uh, from lows to highs here and um, and actually price came into 102.66 but it just continued lower today and of course it stopped at that uh, level uh, of previous support so it's important to study in the four hour chart whether the sequence of measure move here has, has failed or uh, continues to continues to work so um, uh, the four hour chart which I'm showing here uh, shows a sequence of uh, measure moves here and uh, with um, with the first target um, um, at um, at uh, sorry with the resistance at one one o three thirty three uh which progress into first and second target uh, and uh price never uh, looked back though and um and actually uh this um uh, um uh next measure move never traded so we had to had to find a way to model this price at different trades as um, program trading in this move lower or whoever is in control in this market just change the way um, uh, this could be modeled here so I'm just using this 103.30 at the moment and as we can see this level of uh, area of resistance 103.02 actually broke price into first and second target and um, uh, the next uh, measure move in the sequence never uh, traded here so again uh, we will need to consider another anchor and the anchor i'm going to consider here is this low here so um, the next measure move in the sequence is low to low 
and this is being respected at the moment so to me the area of support which is below uh, re, um, below prices here um, uh, is going to be uh, confirmed only um, if we see if I see this uh, 1 to 15 confirmation for me means that there is a higher probability to um, to move uh, higher as now uh, the sequence that uh, push this market lower will be completed uh, and uh, a failure uh, oftentimes uh, the majority of times um, increases the uh, reliability of um, a level of support so uh, I'm going to watch for the 102 16 level to break and that could be a potential uh, entry long in this market with a stop below lows. Moving to the euro versus the Japanese yen, there is a very similar uh, situation. So I'm not going to explain it uh, fully in detail. The only difference here is that um, uh, in this market uh, we came to the old oil way back from um, the lows in February to uh, uh, recent highs here but uh, basically the market is behaving the, the, the very same way so there's an area of support at 130, 140 here and the market re-entered that level of support so uh, if we move to the 4 hour chart here uh, we can see that uh, this area that acted as a support in the past is acting potentially as a support again and um, the way I'm going to uh, model uh, the last uh, move lower uh, I will trace from highs to lows here and we can see by price inspection that uh, this may be a valid um, trace and actually which broke price into the first target here uh, and price then continue lower into the second target so uh, what I'll do I will consider the extension uh, long as the next measure move and as you can see here so far this level this 140.72 level has been respected so again like uh, like before uh, I, will, I would consider uh, this 140 level of support uh, as a confirmation of support if the sequence of measure move lower fails and based on my observation and uh, the method uh, I use here this would only come above 140.73 which could become a potential entry point for uh, this market with a stop below uh, lows here and this would confirm um, this level of uh, support of course you can also put stop below the previous lows if you want a little bit of um, um, uh, more leeway here and for this market uh, there will be a uh, potential to move into the first um, um, be a potential to move into the first uh, level of resistance here which would be actually should be actually um, could be at um, I mean which is this 141.77 this could be a first level of resistance so a potential trade here for a two reward to risk equal to um, so this is something to keep in mind of course you're speaking about potential entries here moving to the pound versus the Japanese yen um, same situation here the the market didn't come back to test this 168.74 which is the corresponding level that we saw for the US uh, dollar Japanese yen and the euro Japanese yen but uh, it came to another uh, uh, you know, highly high availability level here uh, I have a availability level of support here sorry I probability level of support rather sorry 1743 and um, again we can uh, repeat the same considerations to to confirm whether and how this could actually be uh, resistance uh, sorry a, a level of support here which again I'm tracing for you from 
loss to highs and uh, the, six, the 169.80 uh, one level was never pierced on the downside the 170.44 is the level acting area at least uh, level where the support um, uh, is is starting actually it's always an area never a, a specific level and um, um, safe um, way of looking at this would be to consider um, the 171 level of resistance and use that to identify this measure move and then identify the next uh, measure move in the sequence and uh, um, you know based on my method when this um, uh, next uh, area um, on the opposite side is um, fails so that the, the next measure move is not respected and price moves above 170 uh, 99 180 171 here then uh, that there could be a potential entry long uh, with a stop below uh, below recent lows so uh, all these um, japanese uh, yen majors share the same uh, uh, the same pattern here they are uh, um, at the moment uh, looking for a confirmation on top of support and this confirmation as usual will come uh, if it comes will come as a uh, an application of violation of the sequence of measure moving the smaller time frame in this case i showed you the four hour chart when that happens then uh, it's a confirmation of support high probability higher probability of confirmation of support and this can be used for potential trades thank you very much for your attention i hope this video uh, is useful i wish you a very good evening and a great trading day tomorrow uh, bye bye now